My name is Meredith Kelly, and I'm an assistant professor in Earth Sciences. Right now I'm teaching Earth Sciences 15, which is Earth's climate, past, present, and future. We go out to a local lake or a bog and collect a sediment record. And in this quarter, it's been really fun. We started with Occam Pond, which happens to be a, a really neat pond that has been around in existence, at least as a, a wetland or a bog area since the last ice sheet. We have a, a couple big sleds, we load everything up, make a couple trips, pull it out to the middle of the ice, figure out where we want to core, and then the core is driven manually, but it's on a rig with pulleys that help us have some more force to push the core down and pull it back up. And so we secure this rig with ice screws into the lake ice, and you know, it takes us a good hour or two to get things set up before we even start coring in the morning. In the lab, we use sharp fillet knives and, and slice the core open lengthwise down the middle. And because the cut is clean, you can really beautifully see the fresh stratigraphy. And then you can see these changes. For example, in one core, there's a lot of organic material. It's dark brown, decayed organic material. And then there are layers of glacial gray clay throughout that that might be some kind of flood event or a storm event. They're learning how Earth's climate works and then how to apply that knowledge to understanding past records of climate and trying to figure out what mechanisms, for example, if you see a pattern of climate change in the past, in the geological record, would that be an indication of something that was caused by fluctuations in ocean circulation or atmospheric circulation or something that's driven by ice sheets? I hope it's a useful understanding of our present-day climate and used to look at the past and also try to understand what might happen in the future. So much of geology is based on field data and being able to go out and make measurements or make observations. And, and I think that's really what got me interested in doing earth science, learning that I could study about the earth and be outside a lot. I hope that students get some of that excitement out of the class.